Hey guys, uh, I just wanted to share a reflection that I was having today. So yeah, you know, there's a lot of confusion happening, um, a lot going on in the world, people getting censored, uh, misinformation, it's all a bit mad. So I was thinking of uh, this analogy, which I'm going to use with all the love and respect to my religious friends. But um, yeah, let's imagine for a moment that uh, Buddha and Jesus Christ come back to earth at this very time, in these moments of confusion. And then they start sharing a message about love, compassion, unity. Um, you know, everybody being together, coming together and being connected to the same source of um, consciousness. How do you think society will react to that message? I think they would actually be labeled as conspiracy theorists. <laughs> How about that? And um, why do I say that? I mean, why do I think that? Very simple. Do you think it's actually very convenient for um, the people at the top, like cor corporations, banks, the pharma industry, um, all these people, do you think it's actually very convenient for them to have more people realize this thing? Like if we transcend our minds and our egos, then there's no more separation and uh, there's no need for fight, there's no need um, for borders <clears throat> and um, to keep fighting about our differences in color, belief systems, you name it. No need for that anymore. Uh, what happens then? They would actually run out of business literally so that's um, yeah one aspect of this reflection and um, the second aspect um, this is for people who love facts you know it's all about the facts 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 uh, science numbers statistics so uh, first of all to those people I would advise you to do some research on quantum physics and just so that you uh, realize how little we know and um, that there's just so much more to life. Yeah, do some research, you'll be very surprised. So, you know, but let's think about facts. So let's imagine for a moment that uh, we have this, this amazing device for um, light detection that has 99% uh, accuracy. I mean, we don't have that, but let's imagine that we have it. And um, <clears throat> how about we consider for a moment conducting experiments for the people at the top, making decisions for you, for all of us, to run these experiments, you know. So, and um, from the top of my head, I would, um, I would think, for example, of um, Mr. Bill Gates, Dr. Fauci, all of these people. Um, you know, we conduct these experiments and we ask them one single question. And that question is, do you truly care for humanity? Of course, they're going to answer, yes, absolutely. But uh, now let's look at the graph. Let's look at the graph. And um, I think we will find very surprising results. And <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. Peace, guys. <laughs>